shock. Elton John tightens copyright of your song, putting Harry and Meghan at risk of being sent to jail. Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Prince Harry's rendition of a stanza from Elton John's Your Song for the audiobook of his autobiography, Spare, has caused controversy among royal enthusiasts due to his vocal prowess. The royal's spontaneous song was dubbed cringy by some, while it was hailed as a random treasure and a perk of the e-book edition by others. While talking about the memorial event on the 10th anniversary of Princess Diana's passing, the Duke of Sussex delighted fans with a performance of the 1970 hit. Elton John performed at the Concert for Diana charity event in 2007. In his biography, Prince Harry says that Elton John declined to sing Candle in the Wind at the charity event because he thought the song was too gloomy. Candle in the Wind, also known as Goodbye England's Rose, had portions of its lyrics revised by Elton for Diana's burial, but he chose to sing your song instead. Harry continues singing a few verses after that. I hope it's okay. I hope it's okay that I wrote how lovely life is when you're in the world in the lyrics, he sings. Harry's singing was criticized by some as being out of tune, while others applauded him for putting his personality to the words on the page. Honestly, listening to a celebrity memoir that's narrated by the star is the finest way to read one, according to one commenter. The rules are not set by me. After reading numerous, more lengthy war chapters and anecdotes, Prince Harry singing Elton John has lifted my spirits. Another person said, You get to hear Prince Harry sing, which is another benefit of listening to the audiobook. However, a third person chimed in saying, Whoever permitted Prince Harry to sing for the audiobook should be transported to Siberia. His voice is cringy enough, but then he had to sing wrote a fourth. It follows Megan's performance of the classic 1960s song Land of a Thousand Dances for fans during the couple's Netflix series. In 2018, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex danced to the song during their wedding, which was attended by A-list celebrities including Harry's close friend Elton John. In an interview for the Bombshell documentary, Megan explains their decision for the first dance, saying, I just really wanted the music to be enjoyable, even our initial dance. Song of a Thousand Dances, she asks Harry as she turns to face him. A million dances. I usually make mistakes. The Duchess then belts out the 1960s soul ballad Land of a Thousand Dances, which Wilson Pickett and Cannibal and the Headhunters subsequently made into a greater smash. She says, that was our first dance. It was a lot of fun. Nothing but a frenzy of whirling. It was fantastic. According to a source in the entertainment industry who spoke with DailyMail.com yesterday, Harry is considered by Meghan Markle and her team to be a shoe-in to win the Grammy for Best Spoken Word, Best Audiobook Narration and Storytelling Recording at the awards ceremony for the audiobook of Spare. He's a wonderful storytelling, he has a calming voice, and he even sings on the audio version according to a source. Harry made the choice to include an Elton John song in the audiobook. He can sing? Who knew? Meghan compares him to President Obama, who received the same honor a few years ago. He is adored in Hollywood. He has a great sense of humor and the ability to speak well. The star power belongs to him. Viola Davis, Quest Love, Lynn manuel Miranda, Jamie Foxx, and Mel Brooks were the nominees for Best Spoken Word Album at the 2019 Grammy Awards, held on February 5th. Megan believes the 2024 award will be given to her husband. The On Insider continues, There's even been talk of Harry appearing on the forthcoming Academy Awards as a potential presenter in March. After the Duke of Sussex's bombshell book was published, 
a glowing statement applauding his courage, honesty, and humor was posted on the Duke and Duchess's official website, Archwell. Best wishes to Prince Harry on the publication of his autobiography, Spare. As your team, we are honored to support you and cheer you on as the world hears your story in your own words for the first time. I appreciate your bravery, honesty, lightheartedness, and humor. We are all motivated with you. With appreciation, your employees and colleagues at Archwell and the private office of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was written at the bottom of the letter. While it's obvious that Meghan admires her husband, she has significantly stepped back from his protracted media tour and given Harry the limelight. Since the book's publication on January 10th, the prince has participated in a number of high-profile media appearances, including an interview with Anderson Cooper for CBS's 60 Minutes. Additionally, he made a solo appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. In December 2022, when the royal couple flew to New York to collect an award for their heroic battle against institutional racism within the royal family, the Duchess was last seen in public with Prince Harry. According to sources who spoke to The Telegraph, Meghan may have been charged with trying to snatch the spotlight had she been involved in any way with the book's promotion. Some people have said Meghan's absence conveys a message that this is Harry's initiative. A source close to the pair claimed that Meghan was warier than the prince about the intensely intimate biography and that she may have expressed soft reservations. The Duchess was supportive, though, after Harry decided to move on with the two-year project with author J.R. Moringer. Is this how she would have handled the situation? Maybe not, one source stated. She would never have gotten engaged in marketing such a personal undertaking, but she will always support him. His life, his travels, and his viewpoint are all crucial to this. One audience member commented on Harry and Meghan's recent activities. Thank you, Harry. You've been driving me demented recently with all your garbled nonsense, but this song has made me roar with laughter. How vain can you be? To actually allow that to be recorded and thrown into the world? Has he no idea how much he's loathed and mocked? Quite astounding. Wait for the clothing range and he catwalking the items on American TV or that cookery book. Don't tempt fate because if there's a dollar to be made, he will do it. I get the impression these chat show hosts, the majority of whom have already interviewed them, are just using them to boost viewer ratings, then drop them as unpopularity builds. You see, folks will tune in. They want to see what he's like, how he speaks, is he funny and entertaining. Then they realize he isn't too far away as the court jester. You will see, his popularity is now lower than hers. And this is where the foundations are laid for her to divorce him. You will see this unfold over the years, but only after all the books are published. We are in for a very long haul, with one outcome, he, a single man, offering to do royal walkabouts in the UK. What do you think about Harry's new singing talent? If you're a fan of your song, what do you think about this royal vocalist? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.